what a beautiful morning. Oh, 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 what a beautiful day. The cows are mooing in the meadow. The horses are grazing on the green. Look who's back in town. I've got a wonderful feeling. Everything's going God's way. It's Doc Mishler, the 80-year-old cowboy who was made famous back in June yeah! when he rode his horses across the country and then along the Outer Bridge Crossing. It was all in an effort to raise awareness for starving children, but in return, all Doc got was a whole lot of trouble. I'm nothing more than a volunteer homeless <laughs> beggar on horseback trying to spread the good news. The good news, of course, is uh, that we have the money to feed every starving child in the world. It's not the way that is lacking, it's the will to do it. I caught up with Doc outside the Staten Island Courthouse. You might recall from our last story that Doc is facing animal abuse charges because his horses were seized from him and that the veterinarian found them to be dehydrated with bleeding sores. But Doc says those allegations are completely false. The only facts I find is the fact that my horses have been uh, illegally seized. So as you can see, Doc came ready to fight as did his very colorful lawyer, Richard Luckman. How are you feeling going into today? Uh, uh, I'm feeling good, you know, we're gonna go in and we're gonna see Doc, uh, make sure that his, uh, uh, his criminal case is handled. But that is as much excitement that we saw today. The judge actually pushed back the next hearing to January 9th. Uh, the discovery phase was not able to take place today, which includes when veterinarian reports and other evidence from the other side is presented to the defense. We think that this may have been a setup from the start. We, there may have been action happening before Doc came to the outer bridge, yes. uh, that the people are on Staten Island waiting for him. What did he mean by being set up? I mean, here I see just an old guy with a good heart, wants to help people, he's not hurting anybody. Uh, the horses were probably dehydrated because he had trekked across the country. So on Facebook, there's a group called Stop Doc Now. In our last story, we interviewed one of those members. You want to like this guy, you want to support him because of the stuff that he says, but really he's just taking advantage of people. They say that Doc has a history of animal abuse. Uh, that, by delaying the hearing, he still doesn't have his horses back, right? So they... No. They're, they're in custody of the state, or did you say of the... Uh, Horse what? prison. There are two cases right now. So one, he is fighting animal abuse charges, but Doc is also has his own case that he wants to file, which is that right. his horses were illegally seized. And so he's suing for $50 million, which then he wants to then give that money back to the heroin epidemic here in Staten Island. Yeah, so good for him. it's a little confusing, but these horses, where are they? I don't know. He never should have gone onto actual roadways where cars were and stopped traffic. This guy's got a decent cause and a good heart. I, oh hey, let me ask you a question, Diana. How can we help him? <laughs> um, Go find his horses. <laughs> <laughs>